the Bible versus the Constitution. What's going on, family? I pray everybody's doing well on this blessed day as we off top. Give the Holy Spirit all the honor, the glory, and all praise and worship to Ahia, our Heavenly Father. We give honor. We thank you, Yahushua, the only unique begotten Son. Oh, yeah, I want to use this, this breaking news, real news, Holy Spirit giving news. Question was asked to me, what are my thoughts about the Bible and the Constitution? Now, this video is for a lot of my new subscribers. Peace and blessings to you. But all you got to do is go back through my page, my profile, and look at all the things I talk about with voting, the scriptures, how people take these scriptures and misuse them. See, I want to do something in this video that I always do and say, let me just say it like this. Before there was ever any government designed, made, put in place, it was already the Holy Spirit, our Heavenly Father. Before a, a government ever existed, we had the Holy Spirit governing, if you want to say governing in that way, which is what we was already obeying, even though the shortcomings and fallings of Adam in the Bible. So many people love to mix religion and politics. Hmm. And I'm going to take my time in this, y'all. Just bear with me for a moment. And I'm being led by the Holy Spirit, of course. Because, see, I understand purpose. And I'm going to say this because too many of my older generation, they get pissed off at me when I talk about why I don't vote and why I care less about this so-called satanic, wicked system that's already doomed and why I've been saying on her for years, our people keep trying to get equal with a system you never supposed to got equal with. It's the beast system. So stop being shocked at the results that you see. I understand purpose versus opinions. I'm, I'm going to start right there. Yeah, that's, this is why people get bad at me a lot of times. I'm not talking about everybody. Your opinions don't matter. What you think about me don't matter. But when I'm talking about purpose, I'm talking about the purpose that the Holy Spirit has showed us why Christ said my kingdom is not of this world and why I will save you was not interested in politics. He went against the Roman officials. He went against the government. He went against the Pharisees. He went against the Sadducees. The question is, why are you not? What well, JT, the Bible say we supposed to obey the laws of the land. We supposed to submit. Let me ask you a question. Is submitting and obeying the same thing? Now, I'm not here to, if you vote, vote, knock yourself out. I'm not mad at people that vote, but just don't get mad at me when I tell you I don't vote. But it's obeying and submit the same thing. Hmm. Just come on, walk with me for a minute. Hmm. Because you look at this obeying the government. You got to really catch the scriptures, y'all. Especially remember what's being said in the Bible, who's saying it, and at that particular time, who it is being said to. I can obey without submitting. See, it's a clear picture thrown in front of us what this beast system stands for. They love the LGBT. They love for a man to marry a man. They 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 accept all this stuff, but Yah, the Holy Spirit, don't accept it. When you rightly divide the Bible, the word, you understand that you go against the government when it goes against the word of the Holy Spirit. We all see this. How they legalize and Everything that this word say don't do, and pretty much everybody you want to vote for is wicked, whether you want to say amen or not. Trump called 
Kamala Harris, the Antichrist. <laughs> a lot of people got mad at that. You got people that's for Donald Trump. You got people that's against Donald Trump. You got people that's for Kamala Harris. You got people against Harris. But the Bible shows you in Daniel and Revelation what happens to this system. Whether you're talking about Democratic or Republican, it's all doomed. So go ahead and vote for the doomed system. Go ahead and vote for the system that loves to legalize everything that the Bible say don't do. See, first of all, the Holy Spirit is set apart. Holy. Sanctified. Different. But while he's calling, uh, while Trump is calling Harris the Antichrist, did you see what Harris said in her rally? And I know y'all saw this and caught this. When they when they started hollering out, Jesus is Lord. I know y'all caught this. Jesus is Lord. And they got the signs up. She said, oh, y'all let the wrong rally. See, don't nobody want to talk about that part. And see, my people, let me let you in on something again while y'all were talking about voting for somebody because they color, just like y'all did with Obama. See, a lot of y'all got mad at me when I talked about President Obama back then. When I said what I said about gay rights and what he was for and what he was a part of and what he was with. See, half of y'all got mad at me until the truth came out. That's why I'm past your opinions. Okay, you want to know my thoughts on this? Bible versus the Constitution. <laughs> and once again, I'm speaking from a biblical standpoint. This is my issue with people. You hear it all on the radio stations. All these so-called Christians and people with their opinions, they talking from a worldly standpoint when you listen to them because they don't never address the Bible like I'm doing with these type of topics. They call in their feelings, oh, vote for Sister Harris. Sister Harris this, Sister Harris that. They speaking from their opinions and what they feel, but not coming from a biblical standpoint. Yes, the Holy Spirit shows us he sets up leaders in position. It's all a part of the Most High's plan. But these leaders who are wicked, this system, and you talking about vote, brother, uh, y'all vote matter when you know President, uh, President Franklin D. Roosevelt said how many years ago that presidents are selected, not elected. And how they all can each other, and how the majority of them used to be slave owners, and what America is based off of. And you talk about founder of this and founder of that, forefathers and Christianity, you can miss me. See, there is a difference between American history, that's his story, history, y'all caught that, versus the biblical version of biblical history. All these lies and innocent blood that shed, and you keep talking about old Trump, we're going to make America great again. For who? We're going to make uh, uh, America to be affordable again. You've been robbing and stealing for how long? But when I talk like this, I'm the enemy. Because I'm coming from a biblical standpoint. That alone, okay, you want me to be happy now because they got a Bible out now with the Constitution in it? Are you serious? The Constitution? That's man's way. Holy Spirit is set apart once again. Holy Spirit law versus man's tradition, man's way, man's government. They don't go together. Why would I get happy? Because, oh, they got a Bible out now. And, and it's got the Constitution in it. What's that, what's that supposed to do? You cannot add or take away, come on, teach Holy Spirit, from the Word. I know I'm making some, some folks mad at this. 
That's your so-called constitution. That's what the world says, the, the, the government says, but what does Yah say? It totally goes against this system. Once again, Yahshua said, my kingdom is not of this world. That's why he didn't go around talking about save this world. It's a totally different, wicked system that the Most High is angry with. Pray for the world. What what good is it gonna do? You can, I mean, no. Let me let me say this in a better way. You can always pray, but don't think your prayer is gonna change what's already designed to be doomed. Don't think in all your praying, expect this thing to get better. When you read, if, if you are studying, you reading this Bible, you know that this system is 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 gone. It's doomed. We just living in it. So whether Kamala Harris get in next week, or Trump, when you can let a man run for president, thirty four, what is it, thirty four felony counts? Don't have to pay taxes, all the dirt that they show you with Trump, but they just show you the system. And all these people voting early. Oh man, everybody voting early. And all these commercials, you you gotta vote. Vote. Uh not voting is not an option. That's your opinion. I ain't finna vote for the devil. Y'all will catch that later. You want me to vote for people who are against the most high. Well, what about well, JT? What about that Bible, Trump? What about it? Trump selling Bibles. Question is, how many people even even studying the Bible? Man, you got a queen. Everybody got a Bible now. You got a Queen James Bible now for the homosexuals. You see where I'm going with this? And I don't have no hatred in my heart. None. I speak what's real. I stand boldly. That's my problem with all these so-called Christians and everybody talking about they standing bold. But when it comes down to stand bold and go against this system, see, we got to look, we got to be like Daniel. We got to be like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They went against the officials. They went against the leaders in high positions. They went against the government. What are we doing? You want me to accept all this wickedness? When y'all wanted a kindergarten to be able to pick his own gender, if a little boy don't want to be a boy and decide he want to be a girl, y'all cool with that? Are y'all serious? Vote for what? And now every time it's been a vote, there's always confusion and lies. Oh man, the votes didn't get kind of right. Well, we waiting on this state. We waiting on the state. My vote is for the Holy Spirit. Hmm. See that Romans chapter 13 is so misunderstood and so mistaught because oh, you're talking about JT obeying the rules. Obeying the government. We got to vote. We got to do this. <laughs> Acts chapter 5, verse 29. What it, I, I believe there was Peter that said, Who are we to obey? The Holy Spirit or man? The Holy Spirit. Man, we got inflation going on. We got this. If you don't vote, man, your, your vote, man, it matters. It matters. When have it ever mattered to us? When these same people long time years ago didn't even want us to know how to read or write. You wanted information kept from us. You wicked. Too much blood been shed. Too many lies. The Constitution. But yet, still, when you go to court, you 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 want some somebody to tell you the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help you God, which God? Swear on the Bible. The this Bible tells you don't swear. This Bible, if you read it and understand it correctly, 
holy. You, you see that word holy? Which means set apart. Ain't no constitution in this. The constitution is not based on this. They took this and they lied and switched it around to make it fit their needs and their wants and their abilities. Once again, Trump called her the Antichrist. <laughs> and she said in that rally, when they said Jesus is Lord, she said, y'all at the wrong rally. See, this is the one thing about these people in position. You never hear them really talk about this, that they don't understand this because they're coming from a worldly standpoint. Well, they're a Christian. Everybody I know is a Christian, pretty much. Most of them. Dope dealers I know claim Christianity. Homosexuals I know claim Christianity. Christians in politics that claim Christianity. That whole on the call that say she's a Christian. That gangster that say, man, I go to church. I believe in God. I'm a Christian. I sell dope, but I'm a Christian. What is Christianity to me? Nothing. And I mean that with no disrespect. Our Savior did, no, he did not start up no Christianity. Holy Spirit say, be ye holy, for I am holy. Ain't nothing holy about this world system. It's against the most high. Can y'all deal with this breaking news right here? How come the Constitution didn't have the Bible in it? Oh, but you want the Bible to have the Constitution in it. See, we live in a world system, y'all, that puts the Constitution higher than the cross. They put the Constitution over the Bible. But they want your vote. <laughs> Once again, what was that there? USA Bible they came out with. God bless the USA Bible. Because it has the Constitution in it. Not only does it have the Constitution in it, it has the Pledge of Allegiance in there. Constitution ain't based on the Bible. You want me to vote for a wicked system. See, the White House and all those Democrats, Republicans, everybody that's in that system, they just need to focus on the Constitution and leave the Bible alone. Yeah, I said it. Sure did. That's what they need to focus on because they don't want nothing, they don't want nothing to do with this word right here. I tell you, they don't want nothing to do with this. That's why, once again, I look at the purpose. Before your opinion even mattered and established your opinion, the purpose was already given. And once you understand the purpose, you understand righteousness, holiness, you live and go against this system. Yeah. So this is my two cents on a Bible with a constitution in it. Y'all remember the, the 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 other the well that maybe last year I did that video about the Freemasonry Bible and how you open up that Bible, you see what it got in there from the front. Ain't got nothing to do with holiness. It's got they people in there. The anytime you start adding man's way with this, not gonna line up. And I don't care who get mad at this video. I've been watching for a long time. I watched Obama's actions before he was in the office. I'm always watching. I watched Bill Clinton. I watched George Bush. I watched very closely the actions of people because I'm using that spiritual discernment. Just like people are watching me, I'm watching them. But I'm watching with discernment. Everybody don't have spiritual discernment. That's why I don't hate these people. I don't hate Donald Trump. I don't hate Harris. I didn't hate President Obama. I, I don't hate, I don't have hatred in my heart. I'm just a realist who face reality on what's really going on. When you see people that's not for the Bible, when you look at this Bible, you if you thought that Obama was for the Bible, or if you think these 
these these votes in LGBT community because you don't want to offend the community and you want them to have certain rights. I can't fall for that. I can't do it. You can because I don't want to be held accountable. Oh, I wish this video could go viral. Mm -mm -mm. I'm not trying to be held accountable on Judgment Day for going with a satanic system. Ain't nothing holy about Donald Trump. That's why I tell y'all, I don't care who wins because it don't matter according to this. It's all a falling system. Well, JT, what if we have another government shutdown? What if the taxes keep everything already messed up? See, a lot of people in my race, and it ain't just my race, but a lot of us are used to a struggle, and we understand a struggle, and we realize what we live in is going to get worse. So-called government shutdown. What is that? Did it ever shut down? I'm a part of a government government that never shuts down, and I'm talking about a higher. I'm talking about the most high. I'm talking about this holy word right here. Somebody I can call on without even having to have a phone. Somebody I can call on any time of the night. Somebody that understands me, that created me better, know me better than I know me. That's who my faith and my trust in. Government can't save you. Your vote ain't going to matter. It never did matter. With JT, our people died. Man, we talk, go back to civil rights, brother. Martin Luther King and that. Martin Luther King, before Martin Luther King died, Martin Luther King said, I've led my people into a burning, burning house, a burning building. He told you that. Nothing against Martin Luther King. Man, damn a February Black History Month. That stuff don't mean nothing to me. I'm talking about real history. Well, W.E.B. Du Bois and Harry Tubman and and Malcolm X, and, and, and they only gave you a little history. They never gave, they never gave you this. They never gave you this. This is my history right here. This is my culture. I'm in Deuteronomy 28. Hell with politics. Politics should have never been a part of the churches. That's why we got too many political pastors who don't teach the word, who won't address sin, and they are part of the same system, which is the wicked system, as these people they voting for. I'm not talking about all pastors, and I'm not talking about all church folks, and I'm not talking about all Christians, but the majority. Come on, y'all. We got to realize what they are doing, but we got to fight, JT. We got to fight. We got to fight. We got to fight. What are you fighting for? Sister Harris showed you what she's all about. All this Black Lives Matter crap, all this raising money crap, all this sticking together. We got to come together, man. We got to vote. We got to vote. Do you understand the word? One day, every knee shall bow and every tongue must confess that he is Lord. So I'm talking about what you don't need a voter a voter's registration for right now. Mm. I'm talking about it ain't nobody to debate with. I'm talking about ain't no rallies. I'm talking about one day it's going to be all over and done with. So whose side are you going to be on? That's my question to you right now. Voting for all these satanic people who's showing you if you're catching it they are part of the system. I pray they change, they have a change of heart, but the majority don't. What Donald Trump said, Donald Trump said, if he don't get in office, there's going to be a blood bath, blood shed. That's what Trump said. I don't care nothing for neither one of them. And I know I make people mad when I talk like this. My sister at work say, JT, we got to vote. You got to vote. You got to vote. I hope you done voted. I hope you done voted. I said, I voted. I voted for, yeah, I always vote. Same year. I, I have, not same year, but every time it's time to vote, I vote for the same, same one all the time. My Heavenly Father. Well, JT, she black. Sister Harris is black. Is she really? I don't care if she was black, blue, orange. I wouldn't care if she was Spanish, Cuban, Latino. I don't care what color she is. You ain't got my vote. 
I don't, I wouldn't know if I was voting, I would have never voted because of color. No way. See, people should have learned that from, from, from the past with Obama. Well, this is going to be the first African American. She even showed you what she was and told you what she was running female woman running for president. You got to vote. What does that say to me? What does that say for me? It don't mean nothing to me. And I'm not expecting everybody to agree with this. So on that note, I love y'all, and I got to get out of here. Shalom.